Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can make your The Stone application multiplayer or collaborative in just a few minutes. So let's jump into the code. This is our to-do list application. Task 1, task 2. As you can see it is working and it is developed with The Stone, which is a state management library for React. So in order to make it collaborative we'll add a LiveBlocks client. As you can see here I have a The Stone store which handle adding and deleting to-dos. So the first thing will be to create the LiveBlocks client. Here, I'm going to add const client equal create client, and it will take an object as a parameter. The function create client will be imported from the LiveBlocks client, and then I will set my public API key. Now we'll have to add a middleware to our application. The middleware will be a function that is used by the create function to create a new store. So let's take this. Take all this part, I will copy it and use the middleware function from the LiveBlock The Stone package. The middleware function takes a second parameter. It will be an object, uh, an option object. We'll pass the client and we'll also pass two properties, presence mapping. This one is useful if you want to push data to the presence block. For example, we will add an is typing flag to our application. So we'll just take is typing to true. As you can see here, the is typing property is part of our store. Next, we'll add the storage mapping. Storage mapping, an object and then we'll bind the to-dos property of our state. To-dos, and we'll pass just the true value to activate the storage mapping for our to-dos array. It means that all the data that you've pushed on your to-do store will be pushed on the live block storage. So now that our store is ready to be used with live block, we'll make some modification on the application. Let's go on our app.js file. First thing will be to create a room name. It will be useful to identify and segregate your room. To do application, for example. Remember that we use the middleware to enhance the possibilities of the system uh, management library. So here I can do live blocks and the live blocks will be an object, will extract enter room, leave room, and is storage loading flag. Next, we'll create a new effect. Use effect. We'll pass an array of dependencies and we'll update it later. So the first thing to do will be to enter the room when the applications load. We'll pass the room name, and we can also pass an initial state object. So here's the object, and we pass our to-dos with an empty array value. Here we can add the enter room function to the list of the dependencies, and we'll also add the leave room. We will return a clip function inside our use effect. So here, return new function, and in this function we will call the leave room function. This code is very important. It prevents the application from creating uh, too many connections to the live blocks APIs. After that. As we are using the storage, we will just return a placeholder, a loading component, if you want. So we'll use the e-storage loading flag. If e-storage loading equal to true, we'll return a div with a loading. It will prevent some errors. So our application just refreshed. The last thing we have to do is to add component that shows who is here in the room. Who is here 
component and here I will add the someone is typing component. Here we are displaying the other user online count and if I'm typing in a window, you can see that there is a message showing if someone else is typing in the room. And those components use the LiveBlocks Others object, which is an object provided by the LiveBlocks presence, and it allows you to get all the presence data. Using this line of code, you can see that we can go through all the users uh, connected on the same room and take the property is typing and check if it is set it to false or true. As you can see, the presence mapping that you can see here is the one that you can take in our component here. So if I type here, task one, task two, task three, someone is typing and you can see that the presence is updated. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want more. Bye.